There's a new technology in Louisville that's helping doctors diagnose and treat strokes faster. Brooke has shown us how it works and introducing us to a father who is working on his recovery so he can keep up with his kids on the field. When Scott Konerman isn't coaching his kids on the baseball diamond or the basketball court, he's coaching himself. So don't go all the way down. Through tedious rounds of physical therapy, teaching his left side to get back in the game. Cool there. Yeah. Scott was 44 when he had a stroke last November. I got out of the shower and I, and I just couldn't, I couldn't move. I couldn't move me my left side. I was trying to get my socks on and I couldn't do it. So I knew something was wrong. So I just laid down and and I couldn't get back up. He's one of about 795,000 Americans who had a stroke last year. That's one person every 40 seconds and one death every four minutes. So you have really good control now, I think, here. That's why it's crucial to reverse the damage, and time is everything. The moment that there's a blockage in a blood vessel to the brain, the function stops. Treatment is dependent on what doctors can see. And back when Dr. Tom Yao first started in this field some 18 years ago. People would have a stroke, they would come into the hospital, and there's really nothing that people could do. Today, doctors are able to diagnose and treat strokes faster than ever before. But if you look here, this is actually a little bulge right here, which is the aneurysm. New to Norton Brownsboro Hospital, two digital x-ray machines called biplane angiography, the best of its kind that develops 3D imaging inside the brain, giving doctors a look at every blood vessel from all angles. They can even test out virtual devices like stents before they're ever used on a patient. The more you see, the more you know, the safer it is to perform these types of things. The equipment just received FDA approval and fewer than a dozen hospitals in the country have it. Norton is the only one equipped with two, each with its own new hybrid operating room. Scott was lucky. Absolutely, no doubt about it. He now spends mornings in rehab at the Norton Neuroscience Institute. When I first came in here, I was on a, uh, a walker. He says he's gained a good 90% of his mobility back and hopes to hit it out of the park by the end of the year. Just trying to get back to normal, the things I did before. You know, I'm get, I get closer and closer every day. Turn your hand other way. In Louisville, Brooke Hash, WHAS 11 News.